I had the chance to stop by Churchill Theater to meet the cast of The Importance of Being Earnest, opening on November 1st, and we learned the importance of having a little bit of fun. I am Christine Kinlock, and I'm playing Gwendolyn. And we're here, and we're talking about the importance of being earnest. But after being earnest, what do you think is the second most important thing? Being stylish. Being, uh, I like it, and you look very stylish. Honest. Honest. Honestly, oh, in this that, play. that's a great answer. In this play. Yeah. Because nobody is. Enjoy it, I guess. I like it. It's simple. Yeah, yeah. Don't get caught. <laughs> Well, earnest with others and earnest with yourself. Does that count as two? Or does that, is that same? I'll let you get away with okay. it. It's okay. We're all very, very nice, but we, we really aren't very admirable. <laughs> uh, content. Content. Well, I'm very content with how well you did with this interview. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Second most important thing uh, than being earnest in life, I think it's to be true to yourself and uh, your, um, probably your moral upbringing. How are the characters in this show doing with those things? Well, uh, since this is a satire slash spoof on uh, all of the uh, kind of uh, various viewpoints in uh, Britain about uh, marriage and romance and how to conduct oneself, uh, they are probably the antithesis of being moral <laughs> and ethical. I'm Kevin Moore, and my character's name is Cecily Cardew. And Cecily, if she was going to be living a double life, what would she be doing in that other life? Oh, gosh, that's a hard question. I think maybe she'd be a romance novel writer because she's very romantic and she's very creative. My name is John Beck and I'll be playing Algernon Moncrief. All right, John, if you were living a double life outside the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what would you be doing with your double life? I would probably be figuring out a way to get to Washington to watch the World Series. So I guess you're going to be pulling for the Nationals then? Of course. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm not sure. In my second life, I guess I would just be trying to have as much fun as I possibly could. Living in the sewer is eating pizza and being a ninja. It's the first time I've heard that. Yeah. It's All right, what would you be doing if you had a second life? I would be an astronaut, which is a completely different thing. You, yeah, you did. You went the other way. I'm Sheila Austrian, and I play Miss Prism. Miss Prism. Well, Miss Prism, if you were living a secret second life, what would you be doing in that second life? Miss Prism would be writing a cheesy, bodice-ripping novels is what she would be doing. But really, she's a baby nurse. <laughs> what would the title of that novel be? Oh, the three-volume saga of my lost luggage. <laughs> I love it. I'd be a director on Broadway. <laughs> it sounds very similar. <laughs> I know, I know, but, but it would be a wonderful experience. Uh, my name's Howard, and my character is Jack Worthing. That's interesting, because I thought I saw you in the city the other day, and you were going by a different name. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> truthfully. I'm Deborah Eversall, and I play Lady Bracknell. And who put together your lovely outfit? Well, it was a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So we had a lot of people working on it to uh, make this wonderful look. So um, we uh, got the costumes, I think, from Bonnie Gerald, and then Tina worked on them, and then I made all the hats. Your hat looks wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how long did it take you to get that ascot together? Longer than I'd like to admit. I'm Sylvia Maloney, and I'm the director of The Importance of Being Earnest. So why The Importance of Being Earnest? I have always been um, charmed by Oscar Wilde and his writings, and of course, uh, The Importance of Being Earnest is probably the cleverest and the funniest show that he has ever written. And This is uh, personally the second time I've worked on this show, and I think it's one of the funniest plays that I've ever read. I love this show because there are so many good witty lines in it that if you're not paying attention you can miss it but incredibly funny lines so it sounds like they might need to come twice absolutely at least <laughs> because it's going to be more fun than you can imagine i'm in it <laughs> it's a play that everybody deserves and should see because it really makes them really attuned to listening to the language of the show and not uh and foregoing some of the um things that we see more on television and in uh, films today, which is all action, 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 and not much to do with thought and presenting oneself and using the wonderful gift that we have of language. I couldn't have said it better myself, so I'm not. 
Okay. So come see the show. Come see the show, November 1st through the 17th at Churchill Theater. Call the Churchill Theater box office for reservations. Do you know who played you in the Spider-Man universe? Um, no. Who, I can, I, these are hard questions. Have you ever seen Spider-Man movies? No, I have not seen that one. I've seen other ones. Oh my God. Was she in the play? In the play? They did, in, the movie? in Spider-Man 2, they did The Importance of Being Earnest. And Mary Jane Watson played your character. Not really wicked at all, Cousin Cecil. You mustn't think that I'm wicked. If you had, I hope you have not been leading a double life, pretending to be. How did I miss that? Now you have to go watch it. Now I have to go watch it. There you go.